When you see people drinking scotch in the movies, it looks so smooth, like warm candy or liquid velvet. Double scotch rocks. Thank you. It's more like nail polish remover on fire. Hey, that's you. You're the lady. That That's you from the poster. Th yes. Yes, that is me. That's a good picture of you. <laughs> Honestly, I think I was secretly hoping somebody would recognize me. You look skinny in that picture. Just not that guy. Thank you. I think. It's a good picture. Nice and skinny. OK, well, <laughs> big day tomorrow. So good night. Truth is, I just wanted to get away from him and organize my thoughts for the next day. Dina, is that you? Oh, my god. Wow. Billy? <laughs> Billy and I grew up together in Omaha, Nebraska. He was the captain of the baseball team, the football team, and the basketball team. I loved Billy from kindergarten all through high school and most of college, and maybe a little bit after that, too. <laughs> oh, my God! <laughs> he was the guy I wanted to lose my virginity to, but we never hooked up because every time I was around him, I was a total dork. <laughs> what? what are you? Doing here? I'm here for the convention. What? No, yeah. you're kidding. Oh, yeah. The heating, ventilation, and air conditioning convention? Oh, no, no, the Northern Midwestern chapter of the American Ranchers Guild convention. <gasps> I'm here for the cattle castration seminar. <laughs> so, oh, oh, that's a real thing? Yeah. Uh, that's, that's great. That sounds like so much fun. <laughs> snip, snip, those things gotta go. <laughs> uh, why didn't you sit down? It's been so long. Are you sure? I mean, I don't want to impose. Don't sit. Sit, sit. Let's, okay. Let's <laughs> According to a recent study, 98% of Americans say they've had a crush. Sounds adorable. But when that love is unrequited, the level of serotonin in your brain drops and spirals you into an emotional tailspin until you're willing to risk almost anything to turn your fantasy into a reality. I've been seeing your picture all over the place. Oh. Gosh, Dina, you're like famous. <laughs> oh, you're so sweet. Not like internationally or anything. Billy hadn't changed a bit. In fact, he was looking just as amazing as he did the day we graduated. Maybe even better. How do men do that? How is Mary Beth? Mary Beth was our high school cheerleading captain. She basically had everything I didn't. Beautiful hair, perfect teeth, popularity, and Billy. They dated all through high school. So, of course, I hated her. Oh, uh, we split a few months back. I was like, okay, wait. Did I hear what I just thought I heard? We split a few months back. Yep. I felt bad for Billy, but... Oh, that is horrible. For me, it was like, holy <laughs> that's awesome. She left me for our number one feed salesman back in July. Billy and Mary Beth were over, and I was single and free and kind of famous. Just me and our seven kids, what easy. At that exact moment, I made up my mind that after all those years, I would do whatever I had to do to finally sleep with Billy. Oh, you, you need a drink. I'm not much of a drinker. Great! Bartender? Sure, alcohol can help reduce feelings of shyness, anxiety, and low self-esteem. But beware, there's scientific proof that just one drink slows down brain function and impairs judgment. And that can lead to some very bad decisions. Oh. Hey. <laughs> I think this is the first time I've ever seen you without braces. I had elevated incisors. It's very common. I almost didn't recognize you. <laughs> without all that mouth metal. <laughs> <laughs> and then I'm 
made you that poster for the homecoming game, and you thought Mary Beth made it, so you asked her to the eighth grade dance instead of me. <laughs> <laughs> Bartender! <laughs> that was so funny. <laughs> It's all kind of a blur, but I remember it taking about a half an hour for us to find my hotel room. And I was just hammered enough to do something that was completely not me. And that wasn't even the most humiliating thing that happened that night. Come on! Wake up! So yeah, I slept with Billy. And that's all we did. Sleep. It was probably around four or five in the morning when I got up to pee. I just needed to find the bathroom. Dina? Oh my God. Wow. Billy? You, you need a drink. I'm not much of a drinker. Bartender? I was completely naked. And? Billy. Locked out. And Billy, he was passed out on the sofa inside. The fear of being naked in public, known as gymnophobia, is practically universal. It often rates as one of the most common nightmares, along with falling and being chased, both of which are even scarier if you're naked. I grabbed a dirty fork off of a room service tray in the hallway and tried to pry the door open. But turns out, hotel forks are cheap and bend really easily. What the heck? I was definitely getting desperate. Billy! I needed some help from someone. <gasps> Anyone. Billy! You looking for me, poster lady? Just not that guy. <laughs> and I forgot all about the fork. I was in, I, I was in room number. <laughs> I don't even remember the room number. But I, I was with this guy, Billy. He's tall, he's, he's got dark hair. He, he, okay, no. Uh, but he, but he passed out, so I was wake him up. I was like slapping him and slapping him and slapping him, but he wouldn't wake up and well, what's that for? Ow! Back. Stand on your mark. Face forward. Hold the sign. 
and turn to the other side. 